welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a husky on the rainbow loom. And if you just change the colors a little bit, he could be a black Malamute, Alaskan Malamute, or black husky. This one is made from, in the camo pack for rainbow loom, the beige color. And you can also use brown, whatever color you like. And I gave this one a white face with blue eyes. And this one has the black eyes. In this tutorial, I'm going to make a black husky with white and with blue eyes. And also, I changed this one a little bit too, and I added some paws with some claws too. I think that came out really cute. This one doesn't have one, but I really like how the claws came out, so I'm going to make a little paw pad for the one in this tutorial. So, I'm just warning you right now, there's going to be some stretched bands. The neck has one stretched band, and please use stretchy bands, or the Rainbow Loom bands work really, really well. Those are the bands that I use, and I did not have any um, breakage with this dog. So, if you use a different band, you might have some, some bands breaking, but I think it'll come out cute, and... Let's get started. You're going to need a single loom and it's going to be staggered position. So I'm going to do a black and white dog just like this one but with the little paw pads and blue eyes just like this. And I made the ears different than my other dogs and it's just a totally different design. So I really hope you like it. came out really cute. So, we're going to first do the head, which is the black, and you're going to need double bands. It's all double bands. We're going to place it from this pin to this pin. Okay, and then we're going to place from this pin to this pin. Make the top of the head a little bit more furry. It's a bigger dog species, too. Okay, this pin to this pin. Then we're going to work from here to here. And then we're going here to here. Now, uh, now I'm going to make this a little bit more fuller on the top. So we're going to stay with the doubles. And we're going to make a, like, a little diamond configuration. So we're going to Go from this middle pin to here. So it's a little like that. And then we're going to go from here to here. Okay, now we're going to do another double black. And more on this side. Okay, now we're going to do what I'm talking about, the stretching for the neck. So we're going to take a double band and we're going to put it on this pin. And instead of placing over here, we're going to place it over here. Okay, so it stretches all the way like that. Then we're going to make another stretched band right here on the opposite side. Okay, so these are stretched. They're not stopping here, they're stopping over here. Now we're going to work on the white part of the face, and we're stretching these bands also. Okay, first we're going to do the middle of the head. These are all double. I'm going to place it right here. Then we're going to do the little side of the head, and we're going to put it right here, and stretch it to this pin right here. Okay, this is why you need stretchy bands. Now we're going to do the same on this side, from right here to all the way over here. Okay, now we're going to place another double white down here, from this pin to this pin, 
I'm going to do another big stretchy band from right here to all the way down here. Okay, now another double stretch from right here to here, and then we're done with the stretches. Now you need a triple band of white, and that will be your neck area. So three bands, from this pin to this pin. Okay, now we're going to work on the body. I'm going to make the body black, and it's going to be double bands. So double black from this pin to this pin. Now the shoulder areas, same, they're all double black. I'm going to stretch it to right here. So it goes like that from this pin to this pin. Another little double band on the left from this pin to this pin. And I'm going to work on the body, the middle of the body, because that's how many um, stitches I count. So it's going to be five stitches long. So one, these are all double again. Two, three, four, and let me get my bands, and five. Okay, now we're going to work on the side. All doubles again, and we're just working down. Okay, and one more. And then we're going to connect this pin to this pin. Okay, now we can work on the left side. I remade this design a couple times just to make it the way that I want it. And I think it came out pretty, pretty great. So, but just take some time and it's a lot of bands, but it will come out like a husky. Okay, now we're connecting this pin to this pin. Okay, so that's your basic layout. Push these down. Now we're gonna make the legs. Now in this original one that I made, he doesn't have the little paws, but I want to make the paws. I really like how they came out, so they're going to look like this. So you're going to need a black band. I'm going to put, place him down for now. You need a hook. Got my sturdy hook right here. Black band. Wrap it around the hook four times. And place this guy over here. One, two, three, four. Then you take a double white, and this is your little paw. Place that in the middle. Place it back on your hook. And when you're done with everything, when we're setting the dog up, you can separate these bands to look like claws. So then you take another double white and then place that on the double white. Then you take another double white and place that. So let's see, it's one, two, three double whites, just like this. Now we're gonna make, go into the color of the body. I'm using two blacks and one white. So, two blacks, it's very detailed, this dog, and one white. To look like that, put the white in the middle, 
place it on the hook. Okay, just like this. And then place it on the hook. And you have your two white, no, two blacks and one white, just like that. Then we're gonna take a triple black. So three blacks, I'm making him a sturdy body. And he can stand up really well, so triple black. Place it on the hook, just like that. Make sure it's all even, and then we're gonna place it right here. This is the shoulder area. Here's that triple white band, and then it goes down, and we're placing it on this pin. Okay, that's one. Now we're gonna make another one on this side. So, triple black again. I mean, no, one black, sorry. Okay, one, two, three, and four times around. Then take a double white, place the claws on there, place it back on the hook, separate it, take another double white, okay, and another double white. Okay, so that's three. Let's double check. One, two, and three. Then we're going to take two black, one white, put the white in the middle. Just like this. And then place that leg on there. Okay, just like that. Let's maneuver it a little bit so it looks better. Take a triple black. I like to make it as flat as possible so that it doesn't mangle when you take it off the loom. Okay, so just like that. So now you got that leg. Place it right here, opposite of this leg. into the side. Okay, so now the hind legs. Hind legs are not that hard. Same thing with the claws, single. One, two, three, and four. Then a double white. Just like that, put the black in the middle and you can separate a little bit. Another double white. If I'm going too fast, you can also always stop this too and then rewind. And then let's see. It's one, two, three double whites. Okay, just like that. Now you're gonna need that two black and one white. Place the white in the middle. Bring that leg on there. Okay, now we're gonna make little thighs for the dog. Place this on the table. Take a double black. Place it on your loom. Anywhere on any of these pins. Then another double black from this pin to this pin. Okay, then you place your leg right here. Okay, and this is your thigh and leg. So you pull this out. And we're grabbing this band right now. We're going to loom this. Loom it to the left side. Then we're going to loom this guy. OK, 
Okay, so it looks like that. Then you can take it off the limb with the hook. And we're going to place it on these two pins. So right here, you're going to place one side. Let me place it with the hook. Just like that. And move it this way. It just came off. So I'm going to fix it really easy right now. I'm going to place it back on here. Sorry, even I have little accidents. Place it back on the hook. On the hook. Stretch that guy out, bring it back, okay that's all fixed up. So you're going to have the black on one side and black on the other side. So we're placing it on these two pins. I'm so sorry again for all that. What just happened? So we're going to put that on this pin, then we're going to put the other black on this pin. And we're going to do another leg right here. So, double, uh, one single, wrapped four times, so two, three, and four, then a double of the white, and we're going to make this one perfect. <laughs> Okay, so that's one paw, then another double white, okay, and then another double white, okay, so that's three, so let's look, one, two, three, then two black and one white, with the white in the middle. Like that. Okay, you can place this down and we'll do the hind legs again. Double black. Double black. Then we're going to place the leg on this pen. And stretch that so you can see the bands. I'm grabbing this guy first. He's on the top. And then the right. So, I'm going to make this more clear. We're placing this one on here and this one on here. Okay, and these two pins. So I can take off the loom and I'm going to place it right here and then the other one here. Okay, see? Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so that's your legs. Now we're going to make the snout and the eyes and then the ears. The ears is a totally different technique that I thought of. And it's pretty easy. You just have to get used, you know, get used to the, the hook. So let's do the nose first. I'm going to use black for the nose. Wrapped four times around, so two, three, and four. Then I'm taking four white bands. I'm going to make his snout a little thicker. And then place the nose right in the middle of it. And place it back on the hook. So this is crucial right now. Make sure that the nose is even. My nose is to the right a little bit and I just want to move him in the middle. 
make sure it's even on both sides because when you place him on when you're done looming him you want him to be straight nosed so take a white band place that on the white band just like that and we're going to place it on these two pins up a little bit more. So not these two because that's the neck area, the triple, placing on these. So one, two, three, the third pin down and place it right in the middle. Okay, so now we're going to make the eyes. I'm using the Rainbow Loom Neon Blue. You can use e-beads. I think that would come out really cute, like a blue e-bead, and then you can put a little black pupil in the middle. But I'm going to use bands for this one. So I'm going to wrap this one four times again, three and four. You can do it that way, or you can make a little figure eight. One, two, and then it's like a little figure eight and then grab that whole thing and wrap again. So that would be it too. Okay, I'm going to do another figure eight here. So one and two. I'm going to grab a white band, place it on the hook, grab your eye, bring it over, okay so now I'm going to place my eyes right on these two pins going across. I want them to be exactly like this in between these stitches. I made a dog before where I had the, the eyes over here and I think it was too far to the left so I think right here in the middle would be perfect. So make sure yours are right in between these white stitches right here. And now I'm going to put some structural bands on the black part of the body. Get a single black. Make a little triangle right here. Another single black triangle. Single black triangle single black triangle. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to make a tail now. And for the tail, I have five stitches long. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to do that on the hook again. Single, wrapped three times around this time. Then we're going to do a double black. Place it on the hook. So it's one stitch, then another double, two, three, four, and number five. Okay, so this is your tail, and it's going right here as your capping band. Okay, so now the ears. We're almost done. It's a lot of bands, but we're going to make this. Push this down, and the ears are a little bit big for this dog. I really like the ears. I put white in the middle, and then a triple band on the outside. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Take one single white. Pay, atten pay very close attention to this technique. Place it like the figure eight like before. Grab that and wrap again. Or you can do that four times around. Take a triple black. I use triple because it makes the ears a little bit bigger. And in this dog, I want the ears a little bit bigger than a double. So we're going to place three. Put it over here. 
on the right side of that white. Then you're going to twist. That's one twist. Hold it with, it looks like an eight. Hold your eight like that. And then you're going to twist it again, just like that. And then place it on your hook. So it's an eight, twist, twist, and place back on the hook. I'm going to make another one after this. So you can either rewind this or you can just watch and see how I do this again. Then you're going to take a single black, twist it upon itself, place it on the hook, then slide that ear on that single twist. You're sliding it, place it in the middle of the single twist, place that single twist back on the hook, and when you place it on the loom, I want to see, show you, it's black like this, but if you open this up, the white shows, like that. So I'm going to place it on the loom. I'm going to bring that ear up so when I loom it, it stays up also. And it's black right now, just peel that black back and then you have the white popping through. And it's also pointy at the top too. So that's one ear. Now I'm going to make the other one. Pay close attention. The figure eight grab it around again or wrap four times around take a triple band of the black place it on the right side just like that twist one time and what you could do also is just twist it again like that so you have the double twist and that will work just fine or just like before I'm going to show it to you like this figure eight hold it with your thumb and your forefinger then twist again so it's two twists place it back on your hook so it looks like that then you're going to take a single black twist it upon itself and put the ear on that single twisted black. I hope I explained it correctly. It's just two twists. Okay, then we're going to place it right here. So I have more black showing, so I'm going to peel that black back and show the white, and then it makes it pointy on the top also. Keep them up so that when you loom it, it's pointed straight up, like this dog. It'll be pointed straight up. Okay, and this is your layout of your dog. And now we can start looming it. Make sure yours looks like this. I'll bring it a little closer. Okay, and we are ready. Okay, we're going to start looming. I'm going to pull that capping tail back, the band. Now we're grabbing this band. It's my uppermost band, and it's the top two bands. I'm going to try to do this as slow as I can. Then we're looming it to this pin. Now my next band is right here, and then I'm going to loom it to that pin. And then we're grabbing the middle. Okay, so it should look like that. Now I'm going to loom the middle all the way up to here. Now we're going to loom the 
right side. And remember, we originally have this stretchy band right here. So there's some bandage. We have a band going this way, and we have a band going up. So I just want to remind you that. And we're only grabbing the bottom two bands. Okay? Just the bottom two. Going up. Okay, now this is thick over here. My upper band is right here. I'm going to go underneath the thickness and grab this band and bring it to the middle. So let's go underneath the arm. Grab that double band, and bring it to the middle, just like that. Okay, so now I have, I brought that band over here, and now I have this stretchy band. It's right on the bottom. I'm going to grab that. It's right on the bottom, and I'm just going to bypass this and bring it right to that pin. So we'll bring that stretchy band all the way up over here. Not stopping here. There's nothing here. It's just stopping right here. And we're going to do the same thing on this left side. So we're going to grab just the bottom bands on the left. Here's the shoulder area again. I want just this diagonal band. So I'm going to go underneath, find the band. There's going to be four. This one and the, the diagonal. I'm going to just grab the diagonal, bring it to that middle pin, and now I just have this pin, this uh, band. Grabbing that, stretching it right up here to there. So bypassing here, going right here. Body's done. Awesome. No breakage. So now we're going to grab this triple white band for the neck. It's all the way at the bottom. Bring it up. Now, to make this have only white in the middle and the black on the sides, we're just going to loom the white part first, and then we're going to grab the black part. These are the stretchy bands again, so be, be careful and pay attention to which bands I'm looming. So right now, my top band is this guy. So I'm going to grab the top two, it's going to be that, and stretch it right to that pin. Now I'm going to grab this one, it's my top two, stretch it to that pin. Bring that snout out, so you're going to have a stretch over here and a stretch over here. Now I'm going to loom this middle one, and I'm going to put it in between the nose. So I'm going to bring that up, put the nose, like put it over it, just like that. Bring the nose out. So I just brought the band over and to this pen and pulled that nose through it. Okay, so now we're going to be working with this white band diagonal right here, and we're going to keep the eyes in the middle. So you can pull that nose down, and we're grabbing this white top double band.
make sure your bands stay on the loom. And we're stretching it to that where the ear is. And I want to bring that eye. I'll fix the eye later. But I want it right in between right here. Okay, so now we're grabbing this white one. That's our next. I grabbed one. I'm going to grab the other one. Place that eye right in the middle. And then also when we take it off the loom, if your eye is dancing around, you can fix that too. So I want the eye right in the middle. Okay, just like that. So now I have another band underneath this. So I'm going to go up all the way at the bottom. Pull that band up. Place it right here on this pin, and we're almost done. I'm going to fix that eye. Okay, so now we have this black pin right here. I mean, this black band. It's my uppermost band, and this is making the black part on top of the head. So I'm going to grab this one right here, it's the upper one, upper tube, and we're placing it on top of this pin. So I just grab that one. Now my next one is this diagonal black right here. I'm going to go underneath, get that diagonal black double. Place it here. Finally, we have another black right here in the middle of the head. Go under, bring that forward. And we're almost done. It's going to come up fantastic. So we did this big stretch right here of this black. Now we're going to grab this black, this black, and this black. So we're going to loom forward, go underneath that white, go up one stitch, then we're going to go and grab that black on the bottom. Now here's where some bands are stretching. I can go underneath and relax that tension. Now this part is very thick. There's white bands, black bands, all kinds of and an ear there. So this is the stretchy part that I'm talking about. This last part, bands could break on this, but I'm using the rainbow loom bands and I've never had breakage. So I think you'll be fine with this. You're just gonna go all the way underneath and grab the bottom band right here. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way underneath Grab the bottom band, bring it up. I like to just stretch it right on top and then I'm going to place my hook and release the tension. And then it's perfect right there and my ear is straight up. Now let's go up on the left side. Here's that stretchy band right here. We are going to grab the black. Loom it straight up, then the other black right on top, and once again, it's very thick here, we're grabbing this bottom black band, all the way at the bottom. Stretch it. To the side. I'm going to place my hook right in there to relieve the tension. Perfect. I want my ear straight up. Ear straight up. And this is what it should look like. 
It's hopefully yours looks like this. Take a double black, place it through the top, and make a little slip knot. Bring it all the way to the top. I'm going to release this so that there's no uh, straight, like twisty bands, so now it's straight. Place it, just a slip knot, pull it taut, and this is how it should look. So I'm going to slowly take it off the loom, and then we're going to play around with the bands on the dog, and then we're going to sew the dog together and make the paws look like paws and the head look like a little head and it'll come out super cute okay so be careful taking it off the loom okay now I'm at the nose area I'm just going to place the hook right through and take it out now the side of the head, the ears are very thick. Take it off slowly so you don't have any breakage. I'm gonna take it off on the top. Don't need the loom anymore, place it to the side. Now I'm gonna stretch it out now his eyes moved a little bit. Stretch him out. He's not going to look like a dog right now because we have to maneuver some bands around. Place the ear, stretch the ears forward on the top. Put your finger behind the head and pull that snout out. You can pull these black bands to the side. Now I want my eyes are a little mumbo jumbo right now, so I'm going to put this up a little bit more. I want to move this white band to the side and bring my eye right in the middle. Just like that. So I have my eye coming out. You can pull that a little bit out. Now my right eye, I want to do the same thing. My eye is actually already in the middle of these bands, but this one was a little crooked. But I'm going to pull that eye out a little bit more. Okay. Now I have black on the sides. Now we're going to stretch out that body. Stretch out the tail. Bring the legs out. Legs out. Legs out. So this is what he looks like right now. And now we're going to make him look like this, from this to this. And you're going to take your hook, pull this apart, and you're going to see these are the long stretchy bands from before, and place our hook right through the long stretchy black bands and that triple band neck. Then we're going to tug on it until it is straight up. You just gently maneuver it, pull it up, and then his head's going to go up. Okay, then you take your hook, bring it out, and it's straight up. So now I'm going to sew this body shut, so now you can stand, and he's 3D. Now you're going to take a single black band, and you also need a scissor at the end too. Okay, so you have your single black, and right here you're going to see, I hope you can see because it's all black, but there's that triple white neck right here, then you have two bands going this way on the neck, and then you have these bands coming down. I want to grab the outside two bands right here, bring my hook through, and grab the next outside two bands. If you made any of my other dogs, this is the same technique for the sewing, so you know exactly what, what I'm going to do. Then you take your single 
and place it on the hook, pull it underneath, bring it up, place it back on the hook, and then pull this right side over to make a little knot. So it's going to be like that. Hold this with your left hand, then we're going to go to the next stitch. My next stitch, I'm going to place it, my hook underneath, then we're going to go on the other side just like that. Then we're going to place that under this, ah, sorry, place this band on the hook, pull it under because we're sewing this shut, pull it taut, then we're going to go to the next stitch right here. Okay, then we're going to go to the side, so it's the next row of stitches. And pull it under. And pull a little bit more. If you want to stop there, you can sew it shut there. I'm going to go one more little stitch. But you can sew it shut right there and do your ties. If not, just you can do one more little stitch. Bring it under. Okay, then I'm gonna grab my trusty scissor. Just snip the end. Hold one side of the band on your left. Then I'm gonna find another little stitch on the belly anywhere and place this underneath and then we're going to tie it. So any stitch over here. I'm going to place it underneath. I'm going to try to stay in the camera. I got that. Now I'm going to make two knots, a double knot, to sew it shut. Okay. Now the excess bands, don't cut the body of the dog, just the two little bands coming out. Okay, you can stretch it now. Now he's 3D, put the legs straight. Okay, I'm gonna bring that tail up. I'm gonna make it like that. So what I'm gonna do, take my hook, go underneath this band, and just tug it just like the neck to bring it up. And now that it's up, and then I can do any of the other bands to curve it. A little bit more. So now the tail is up and it's curved a little bit. Now the paws. I don't want the black to be straight down like that. What I want to do is I also want to separate these so it looks like claws, like that. Then I'm going to just take the bottom, I'm going to need the hook for this, take the bottom and just pull it a little bit so it's flat, so it's moved just like that. So it's a flat paw. I'm going to do the same thing for this, the other three. I'm going to separate the black. And then it's straight right now. I'm just going to move it like that. Just like that. So now it's straight that way. Same over here. Straighten out this. I'm going to take the bottom too. And move it like that. So it's flat now. Same here. Let's straighten out the claws. And move it just like that. And now they're flat. My head, you can also move that head back. If you have some black on the front of the ears, you can always move the black back. Now, I have some white on the back of my head. You can easily hide that too. It's 
stretch that top two bands out. Move my scissor out of the way. And you can just sew it. Press any of these black bands in the back. Take it, and just like we did with the belly, bring it through. And then take another like, black. And if you don't want to do this, then you can just, you know, hide the excess bands in the back of that black, the black part of the head too. Okay. And I just leave it there. You can put a C-clip there and hide it there or make another knot. But it hides some of the black, in the, I mean the white in the back, so now it's a black head in the back. And I think it came out really cute. And if the ears are drooping, just move them more toward the top. And they're pointy. The eyes came out cute. You can always maneuver the bands around. If your nose is to the side because the bands moved, just move it around. You can pull back the black, show more white. And if you want to show a little bit more white on the top, you can put your hook underneath and just pull that black up. And I'll show more white. But I think he came out cute. And I really hope you liked it. And I hope yours came out like a little husky. So if you want the neck back again, you can always just put your hook right through and tug for the neck to go back. And here is he is, your husky. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Designs. See you soon. Bye. Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a husky on the rainbow loom. And if you just change the colors a little bit, he could be a black Malamute, Alaskan Malamute, or black husky. This one is made from in the camo pack for Rainbow Loom, the beige color. And you can also use brown, whatever color you like. And I gave this one a white face with blue eyes. And this one has the black eyes. In this tutorial, I'm going to make a black husky with white and with blue eyes. And also, I changed this one a little bit too, and I added some paws with some claws too. I think that came out really cute. This one doesn't have one, but I really like how the claws came out, so I'm going to make a little paw pad for the one in this tutorial. So I'm just warning you right now, there's going to be some stretched bands. The neck has one stretched band, and please use stretchy bands or the Rainbow Loom bands work really, really well. Those are the bands that I use, and I did not have any um, breakage with this dog. So if you use a different band, you might have some, some bands breaking. But I think it'll come out cute, and let's get started. You're going to need a single loom, and it's going to be staggered position. So I'm going to do a black and white dog, just like this one, but with the little paw pads and blue eyes, just like this. And I made the ears different than my other dogs, and it's just a totally different design. So I really hope you like it. came out really cute. So we're going to first do the head, which is the black, and you're going to need double bands. It's all double bands. We're going to place it from this pin to this pin. Okay, and then we're going to place from this pin to this pin. Make the top of the head a little bit more furry. It's a bigger dog species too. Okay, this pin to this pin. Then we're going to work from here to here. And then we're going here to here. Now, now I'm going to make this a little bit more fuller on the top. 
So we're going to stay with the doubles and we're going to make a, like, a little diamond configuration. So we're going to go from this middle pin to here. So it's a little like that. And then we're going to go from here to here. Okay, now we're going to do another double black. And more on this side. Okay, now we're going to do what I'm talking about, the stretching for the neck. So we're going to take a double band and we're going to put it on this pin. And instead of placing over here, we're going to place it over here. Okay, so it stretches all the way like that. Then we're going to make another stretched band right here on the opposite side. Okay, so these are stretched. They're not stopping here, they're stopping over here. Now we're going to work on the white part of the face, and we're still going to look like this. So you're going to need a black band. I'm going to put, place him down for now. You need a hook. Got my sturdy hook right here. Black band. Wrap it around the hook four times. And place this guy over here. One, two, three, four. Then you take a double white. And this is your little paw. Place that in the middle, place it back on your hook, and when you're done with everything, when we're setting the dog up, you can separate these bands to look like claws. So then you take another double white, and then place that on the double white. Then you take another double white. And place that. So, let's see, it's one, two, three double whites, just like this. Now we're going to make, go into the color of the body. I'm using two blacks and one white. So, two blacks, it's very detailed, this dog, and one white. To look like that, put the white in the middle. Place it on the hook, okay, just like this, and then place it on the hook, and you have your two white, no, two blacks and one white, just like that. Then we're going to take a triple black. So three blacks, I'm making him a sturdy body, and he can stand up really well, so triple black. Place it on the hook, just like that. Make sure it's all even, and then we're going to place it right here. This is the shoulder area. Here's that triple white band, and then it goes down, and we're placing it on this pin. Okay, that's one. Now we're going to make another one on this side. So triple black again. I mean, no, one black, sorry. Okay, one, two, three, and four times around. Then take a double white. Place the claws on there. Place it back on the hook. Separate it. Take another double white. Okay, and another double white. Okay, so that's three. Let's double check. One, two, and three. Then we're going to take two black, one white, put the white in the middle. Just like this. And then place.
place that leg on there. Okay, just like that. Let's maneuver it a little bit so it looks better. Take a triple black. I like to make it as flat as possible so that it doesn't mangle when you take it off the loom. Okay, so just like that. So now you got that leg. Place it right here, opposite of this leg. Okay, put them to the side. Okay, so now the hind legs. Hind legs are not that hard. Same thing with the claws, single. One, two, three, and four. Four. Then a double white. Just like that. Put the black in the middle and you can separate a little bit. Another double white. If I'm going too fast, you can also always stop this too and then rewind. And then let's see. It's one, two, three double whites. Okay, just like that. Now you're going to need that two black and one white. Place the white in the middle. Bring that leg on there. Okay, now we're going to make little thighs for the dog. Place this on the table. Take a double black. Place it on your loom. Anywhere on any of these pins. Then another double black. From this pin to this pin. Okay, then you place your leg right here okay and this is your thigh and leg so you pull this out and we're grabbing this band right now we're going to loom this loom it to the left side then we're going to loom this guy Okay, so it looks like that. Then you can take it off the limb with the hook. And we're going to place it on these two pins. So right here, you're going to place one side. Let me place it with the hook. Just like that. And move it this way. just came off so I'm gonna fix it really easy right now and place it back on here sorry even I have little accidents place it back on the hook on the loom okay stretch that guy out Bring it back. Okay, that's all fixed up. So you're going to have the black on one side and black on the other side. So we're placing it on these two pins. I'm so sorry again for all that. What just happened? Okay, so we're going to put that on this pin. Then we're going to put the other black on this pin. And we're going to do another leg right here. So, double, uh, one single, stretching these bands also. Okay, first we're going to do the middle of the head. These are all double. I'm going to place it right here. Then we're going to do the little side of the head. 
And we're going to put it right here and stretch it to this pin right here. This is why you need stretchy bands. Now we're going to do the same on this side, from right here to all the way over here. Okay, now we're going to place another double white down here, from this pin to this pin. And we're going to do another big stretchy band, from right here to all the way down here. And now another double stretch from right here to here, and then we're done with the stretches. Now you need a triple band of white, and that will be your neck area. So three bands. from this pin to this pin. Okay, now we're going to work on the body. I'm going to make the body black and it's going to be double bands. So, double black from this pin to this pin. Now the shoulder areas, same, they're all double black. I'm going to stretch it to right here. So it goes like that, from this pin to this pin. Another little double band on the left, from this pin to this pin. And I'm going to work on the body, the middle of the body, because that's how many um, stitches I count. So it's going to be five stitches long. So one, these are all double again. Two. three, four, and let me get my bands, and five. Okay, now we're going to work on the side. All doubles again, and we're just working down. And one more. And then we're going to connect this pin to this pin. Okay, now we can work on the left side. remade this design a couple times just to make it the way that I want it and I think it came out pretty pretty great so but just take some time and it's a, a lot of bands but it will come out like a husky okay now we're connecting this pin to this pin Okay, so that's your basic layout. Push these down. Now we're going to make the legs. Now in this original one that I made, he doesn't have the little paws, but I want to make the paws. I really like how they came out. So they wrapped four times. So two, three, and four. Then a double of the white. And we're going to make this one perfect. <laughs> Okay, so that's one paw, then another double white, okay, and then another double white, okay, so that's three, so let's look, one, two, three, then two black and one white, with the white in the middle like that. Okay, you can place this down and we'll do the hind legs again. 
double black. Double black. Then we're gonna place the leg on this pen. Stretch that so you can see the bands. I'm grabbing this guy first. He's on the top. And then the right. So I'm going to make this more clear. We're placing this one on here and this one on here. Okay, and these two pins. So I can take off the loom. And I'm going to place it right here, and then the other one here. Okay, see? Perfect. Awesome. Okay, so that's your legs. Now we're going to make the snout, and the eyes, and then the ears. The ears is a totally different technique that I thought of. And it's pretty easy, you just have to get used you know, get used to the hook. So let's do the nose first. I'm going to use black for the nose, wrapped four times around, so two, three, and four. Then I'm taking four white bands. I'm going to make his snout a little thicker. And then place the nose right in the middle of it. And place it back on the hook. So this is crucial right now. Make sure that the nose is even. My nose is to the right a little bit and I just want to move him in the middle. Make sure it's even on both sides because when you place him on, when you're done looming him, you want him to be straight nosed. So take a white band, place that on the white band just like that and we're going to place it on these two pins. Oh. I'm going to bring up a little bit more. So not these two because that's the neck area, the triple. Placing on these. So one, two, three. The third pin down. And place it right in the middle. Okay, so now we're going to make the eyes. I'm using the Rainbow Loom Neon Blue. You can use e-beads. I think that would come out really cute, like a blue e-bead 